I have a confession. I love Angry Birds. I really do. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron and I actually have a double confession to make. Not only do I love Angry Birds and my family can contest to this, but I also, back when smartphones didn't have one of one zillion games to play, I legitimately beat every Angry Birds level there was on every game. My kids didn't think I could do it, so of course I had to do it. I beat regular Angry Birds, Angry Birds 2, every version of Seasons. I guess I did not beat Bad Piggies, because that game was exceptionally hard and took way too much time. But all those other variations and all the updates, I beat every level. And before anybody leaves a comment, no, they're not all three stars, okay? but I did beat all of them. And what game are we gonna be talking about today? A new RPG coming out from Rovio, Angry Birds Legends. But first, if you're new here, welcome. Here at Action RPG, I stream, I do tech reviews, I cover major gaming news, but the big portion of this channel, all things Action RPG. So if you grew up loving the Diablo series, if you're a fan of top-down isometric hack and slash style games, you are in the right place. So please consider subscribing and supporting smaller channels. All right, let's get on to these flying birds. As always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go. All right, so let's jump right into this. Right now I'm on mobile mode gaming and this is an article written by Cather Gotham. Angry Birds Legends opens for beta testing on Android. The latest edition of Angry Birds series is Angry Birds Legends, a role-playing game that is now available for open beta on Android. Rovio Entertainment, the developer, has been busy for a couple of months having two recent soft launches. One, Angry Birds Tennis. No, I don't have it. An, ar an arcade tennis game, while other being Angry Birds Casual, a new game with the usual thing. Theme. Now it is followed by Angry Birds Legends. Ooh, look at this picture with all the legends. I don't even know who half of them are. This new game also takes place in the casual theme where the fight is between the birds and the pigs. With the arrival of dragons and dark magic, everything goes into chaos, forcing birds and pigs to team up. The game follows the storyline of how they pair up to defeat the evil. That's how it is for the newest movie, Angry Birds 2. The pigs and birds have to team up. In this game, you might be expected to combine the heroes from both sides to form a formidable combat sides. Each hero can be upgraded to improve their abilities. As usual, it is also expected to be free to play title. The game is also expected to get limited time events, which might reward the players with epic and legendary heroes. Overall, the turn-based RPG seems interesting and can be sure that it will garner a huge fan base as the time goes on. The Angry Birds Legend beta version is available to download in the Play Store now. So, kind of cool, right? Turn-based RPG Angry Birds game. Let's look at some gameplay. Okay. So obviously this is very early on. This is main charge three. So you've got energy, you click battle, it pulls up your team. Right now there's only three people, so there's no other heroes to swap in. So I got red bird, a wizard, and then my shield girl. So in here it's turn-based. Who you select your leader to be always jumps in initially and does the first attack. Now what you'll see at the bottom is you always have six cards and if you get two of the same card you can combine them for a larger attack. You take two turns to do your attacks and then your opponent does their attack. And you always get six cards each round. So if you saw that, combined, 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 and now you have a three star attack. Once you use the ability, it's gone. So you can't keep using the same ability over and over again. Obviously these matches at the beginning are 
very easy. Combine, combine. So now I got two three-star attacks. And you could save those. So now you have to use one of them. Done. So on to the next one. So now this is the boss for this round. Alright, so combine, combine. So this person with the shield, when you use her three star, it gives your characters a, a blue shield so you can absorb more damage. Redbird and her have the blue, which gives them a shield. So now they'll be able to absorb more damage from the boss. Basically did nothing. When you have the when you have the cards that are electrified, that means you've charged their special ability. And it just does a little graphic and it adds more damage or whatever the ability is. So this boss also has taunt, so he can force who you pick, who you have to use to use their skills. You don't get to choose yourself. Dead. Let me jump ahead to a little harder boss. So now we're on the boss for main four. And this is the third round. So if you look at my wizard in the back, he is pretty much toast. But my other characters are fine, and I got a couple of good attacks. So I'm going to throw on my shield so I can take more damage. And then start poking away. I kind of like taking out the littler people first. Gown. Two special abilities. And a boy, Red Bird. Attack is so bad. Visual as well. So obviously, still pretty easy because the game's early on, but it does show that, you know, I lost somebody. Only two stars. So let me quickly show you some of the menu stuff. So. Typical menu, pigs, birds, main, and then it kind of talks to you about the events. The currency you get, you can open up these tombs. I'll open one for you now. Let me pop it open. A new character, the beekeeper, Bert. Literally never heard of that character ever. So you can actually then go and click and see all the different characters that I unlocked them. Unlocked him. And then in there, you can spend your gold to level up your character. And obviously, the more you level them up, the more powerful they get. And you can unlock different abilities for that character. So, I mean, fairly basic. Obviously, right now, this game is still in beta. It doesn't have a launch date yet. But, I mean, it looks okay, especially if you like Angry Birds games. It's kind of trying to hold true to the form of the game. Yeah, Red Bird. Okay, time for my opinion. So, being a lover of Angry Birds, I knew that I had to see what this game is all about. And this was my final thought, at least so far. It's not worth it. I put it in the casual category, and there is lots of games in the casual category. So that means commuting if you're not driving, lunch break maybe, you know, with your friends around, forced to watch something you don't want to, so you pull out your phone, it goes into that category, which is fine. There's a lot of people that look for games in that category, but it is also a huge category of different games that are out there as well. Now again, this game is open beta, so if they put a year into it, if they try and make it more entertaining, if they work on the visuals, they work on the different special abilities and maybe come up with some cool events, sure. But I don't see myself grinding out my 
characters to improve them for this game. Like, not something I'm going to wake up, grab my phone, and it'd be the first thing that I do. They need to throw a slingshot in there. Mm, that's an idea. Throw a slingshot in there. That would be a good ability. But I don't know. The game just hasn't done it for me yet. But again, like I said, it's still early on. Let me know in the comment section below if you have a different opinion. If you're looking for any more of my content, look on the screen now. It'll be popping up. This is the only video that I am making today. Kind of a slow day for the news cycle. I mean, I'm doing a video on Angry Birds, you know. But... I will be back tomorrow with a different video, and I think this one is going to be a good one. So, thank you all for watching. I will see you all later. Stay home. Stay safe. Aaron, out.